Hey guys and welcome back to yet another away day vlog. We are back here at Manchester United. This is actually my fifth time of being here. Every single time as a Newcastle fan, I've seen us lose. I'm sick of it. I'm just sick of coming to grounds like this and just getting our arses handed to us. But to be fair, uh, ever since the takeover, it's now a different Newcastle team. Manchester United, when they saw Newcastle in the draw, they wouldn't have liked that one bit. I know this is meant to be a cup final rematch from last season. But I think both teams kind of wish this game wasn't taking place now. I think both teams would rather prioritise the Premier League and the Champions League over this. And this won't be easy for either side. I'm expecting Ten Hag and Eddie Howe to both rotate the squad. For me, even though long term the Premier League games are more important, we need to win this game, I feel like. If we beat Man City and Manchester United in the Carabao Cup, why can't Newcastle win it at that point? I know we've got Liverpool Arsenal we still, but listen. Get out there and try and win the game. We shouldn't be fearing anyone anymore. And going at this game on Nordy Castle, got some serious injury problems. But listen, we win this match, we've got a good chance of actually winning silverware. And isn't that what fans want? So yeah, my I guess my mindset today is actually to play Callum Wilson to drop for the Arsenal game. Is crazy that might sound. But anyway, guys, uh, welcome back. If you are new around here and you like what you're watching, make sure you get down and hit that subscribe button. One week today, we will be in Germany, of course, for the Dortmund game. We've got Bournemouth next week as well. Plenty of away days coming up. I'm excited. This is a big one. I've never seen a castle win here. And I feel like with Eddie Howe, as good as he's been, one thing he does struggle at is actually beating the top, top teams away. I think our away form this season anyway hasn't been good. But other than Tottenham last season, which to be fair, finished, what, like eighth in the league anyway, Eddie Howe actually hasn't beat any of the big six away. We just haven't done it yet. So I'm hoping we can start to do that at some point. Only Castle want to reach that next level. That's probably the games when you start eventually being able to win. But it's a, a slow process. We're getting to it. We're here at Old Trafford now. So let's go around. Let's see what's happening. And get inside the ground. 8,000 Newcastle fans there. Huge allocation. And I can't wait for it. It's going to be a real buzz tonight.
Time at Old Trafford, Manchester United nil, Newcastle United 2. What? I've been at the stage before, actually, 2018, we were 2 0 at hard time. Benitez uh, was Kennedy and Mutu at the goal. But unlike them, where we probably could even argue that despite battling that game, it was never going to maintain that 2 0 lead. Tonight, Newcastle for the most part, I mean, Miles better lose. I think Manu had a good last 10 minutes to sort of have got back in the game. It's probably a real good save to keep us at 2 0. Older than that, Newcastle will be by far the better team. Liver Mental Hall, the two fullbacks, 21 and 18 years old, playing them off the park. They look so good, and Newcastle will deserve to be 2 0. One more goal, and these are completely out of it. The way they're playing, 10 out of the ball, the first team on now. They've got no choice. Man, who have been so just out of the game, they've got to bring the first team on. So, when Newcastle point of view, all the changes are made. What an unbelievable first half that is. Fingers crossed we can keep it up. What the first 45.
So there you have it, famous win tonight at Old Trafford. The Castle have put three past them one three now. Never thought I'd see anything like that. We've now got Chelsea away in the quarter final. At least it's not Liverpool, that's all I'm saying. Yes, it's a hard fixture. It's probably the second hardest we could have got. Maybe West Ham might you might put over Chelsea. But it's not Liverpool. That's all I'm saying. It is not Liverpool. So we can actually believe that we can do something in the next round. Chelsea, to be honest. They've got bigger things to worry about. They've got to worry about the Premier League. They've got to try and get themselves back up the table. They're doable. They're doable. If we can beat both the Manchester teams, there's absolutely no reason why we can't go to Stamford Bridge and win down there as well. We have everything at the disposal to do that. 
if it was Liverpool, I thought it would be a disaster. But Chelsea's not a bad fixture. Well, I honestly think Newcastle could beat Chelsea. Um, I really think they can. They've been rushed for a couple of seasons now. They've been so bad this year. Uh, as for Manchester United, they deserve what they got tonight. They deserve nothing from the game. Just they were bad again. Uh, big question marks going towards Ten Hag now. You would think he's probably got one or two games left. Now, luckily enough for him, uh, they've got Fulham away, which surely they're going to beat Fulham. If they can't beat Fulham now, I think he probably is going to go. You really would think, despite how bad they've been this season, that man, you are going to pull it around at some point. They're going to have someone in the locker. But tonight, they were rubbish. I, I can't see anything else. They were bad. Uh, for us, so I'm, I'm over the moon with it. I couldn't believe it. I actually came down to the old track and we walked it with, with, with the win. We've actually done it. I'm looking forward to coming back here again this season. Uh, it's been weird sitting in the upper tier. I'm not used to it over here. But listen, we'll come back again uh, later on this season. Hopefully Newcastle can continue it. Yeah, after so many years of Man U just getting one over Newcastle. They always beat Newcastle. Proper bogey team. They beat us in the cup finals. They beat us in the biggest possible game. Newcastle are finally now starting to knock on that door and just take it to them. We're, we're a team that's a nuisance for them now. These Man U fans are going to hate playing us because Newcastle are... Now a team, over the next five, ten years, this will be a real rivalry. It'll be a game where every single season that both sets of fans would just love to stick it to the other ones. So we'll see how things go. I'll just that all time, but finally after the decades of just falling second best to them, it's time to fight back. It's time to take it back into Newcastle Hub. Start to do that now over the past couple of years, so let's see how we continue to do it. But tonight was a great one for us. Famous, famous win. We've done it. Quarter final now. If we beat Chelsea, we are in a semi final. At that point, can we get back to Wembley? It we'll, we'll, we'll depends. It depends. But Ooh, I'm buzzing, guys. Uh, enjoy the vlog. I uh, appreciate you watching. Uh, it's great as well to have a little debate with the Manchester United fan yesterday. Quite a sound guy. He wished us the best look on the Carabao Cup. Said he hopes we'll win it. Just had a healthy debate. Uh, got quite heated on Rule 6. I mean, I'm going to defend Ten Hag somewhat. I will defend them somewhat. I don't think it's fair to entirely blame the manager. Do I think he's good? No. But if you're going to sack him, you're going to bring someone else. It's going to be the same situation. Nothing changes. Um, the Glazers, to be fair, the Glazers, um, as much as they won't like me saying this, they do spend a good amount of money over the past few years at least. The players have got to take responsibility. Every single one of them has to take responsibility. They, just the crap what, what do I say the good players on paper who are crap they're underperforming every one of them they're just all of them underperforming so there's definitely someone I was going on there other than the manager and other than the ownership for me but that's just my personal opinion appreciate you guys watching though take care I'll see you all in the next one